All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic algorithm scripting, factorialize a number. All right. So now we're going to return the factorial of a provided integer, right? Uh, if the integer is represented with the letter n, a factorial is the product of all positive integers less than or equal to n. We've learned that in math a long time ago, right? Uh, factorials are often represented with the shorthand notion n with the exclamation point after it. So for example, we've got five with the exclamation point. So five factorial equals one times two times three times four times five, which equals 120, right? So only integers greater than or equal to zero will be supplied to the function. All right. So there's a few different ways we can do this. Uh, we're going to start off by doing the for loop. All right. So let's do something like this. Let's say uh, four. Let i equal zero num. We're going to go backwards on this one. Let i equal num. Uh, while i is greater than or greater than zero because we can't multiply anything by one, right? By zero, I should say. So while i is greater than zero, we're going to say i minus minus. So we're going to go from five down to one. OK, so what we're going to do here now is we're going to let's start off by saying let's declare a product. Uh, so let's let result equal the number one. OK, and I guess we could go to two, but it doesn't matter anyway. Yeah, we can. So let's say while it's greater than one, since we already have one right here. Right? How about that? So what we're going to do here now is say uh, result times equals uh, I like that. And let's come down here and say return result. So let's get this and let's wrap this in parentheses, come to the front of it and say console.log. And we'll see 15. That's not right. <laughs> let's go. Uh, let's say greater than equal to zero. 16, that's not right. Plus equals, no, we're doing times equals. All right, let's do times equals. How about that? And we see it's 120 like we like, all right? So that's one way to do it. And we can also do it with uh, recursion, if you don't remember. Uh, recursion, I'll help you out. So here's the recursion page. And the other recursion page is somewhere back here. I don't remember where it is on FreeCodeCamp, but here's the recursion page. And it's the act of a function calling itself, all right? So let's start off right like here. We'll say something like this, const uh, factorialize. And this is just another way to do it. So don't, so if you're confused, it's just another way of making a, uh, making these things happen. So we're gonna do this const factorialize equals in, and then we're gonna have the expression inside of here. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna say if, because we remember we needed a base case. So if, in uh, is greater than, so, excuse me, is less than or equal to zero, what we're gonna do is say, uh, in, excuse me, return one, okay? That way, when it gets down to one, when it gets down to zero, it will uh, multiply all this stuff by one, right? So now what we're gonna do here is say uh, else we will say in times equals factorial eyes. Uh, excuse me, in times factorial eyes, in times equal factorial eyes in minus one, all right? And then we'll return. No, 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 no. We'll return that. See, recursion's difficult, isn't it? Return that. All right. And you see when we do console.log factorialize five, it gives us 120 again. So that works as well. Let's run it. Yeah, see, it does work. But there's another way we could do this to make it even less uh, typing. So let's get this. Let's uh, comment this out as well. All right. And like that, and we'll do the, we'll set it up just like we did on this one. We'll say const factorialize, and we'll say equals in with the arrow like this. 
and we'll do we'll do it down here to save us some space. No, we'll do it up here because we can always expand it. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use that ternary operator or the conditional operator, the one with the question marks and the colons like we learned in the ES6, all right? And so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say like this, if n is greater than or equal to zero, question mark, will return one. Uh, if not, we will return n times equals uh, factorialize, factorialize n minus one. Factorialize. Did I not spell it right? <laughs> Probably not. All right, there we go. And we'll see we got 120 right there as well. So there's three different ways to do it. There's even more ways than that. But this video has gone on long enough. Let's uh, run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right. So if you've been watching these, you can feel free to press stop now because I'm going to say what I've been saying. But if this is the first one you've watched, uh, if you're having trouble with these, go take yourself over to Code Wars, right? And start yourself a uh, make yourself an account and you can get all the practice you want on these. So if you start from 8Q and go all the way to, I'd say about 5Q, you can get a strong working knowledge of these uh, JavaScript uh, uh algorithms, right? And what else should I say? Also, if you're having trouble with these, uh, you can just go check out my videos. And if my videos aren't good enough, like because I made these, I made pretty much all of these before I got monetized uh, and before I knew what I was doing. But if, if it's hard to understand what I'm saying, just let me know in any of those comments, uh, in any of the videos comments that you want me to redo it. And I'll redo it for you, guaranteed. Uh, and if, if there's a video that I haven't made, that you want me to make on these, just let me know in the comments of any of my other videos and I'll do that as well. All right, so just to let you know. And uh, now we're on to find the longest word in a string. And we'll see you next time.